Kia ora. My name's Ellie and I'm a lead advisor in the support staff pay equity team at the Ministry of Education. In late 2020, NZEI Te Riu Roa raised pay equity claims with the Ministry for therapists, science technicians, librarians and library assistants, among others. Pay equity is about men and women being paid the same for work that is different but of equal value. This is different from pay parity, which is about people who do the same work being paid the same across different employers. These three claims were agreed to be arguable in early 2021. This means there may be a current or historical undervaluation due to gender-based discrimination, including perceptions about the value of women's work. But we need to investigate further to determine this. The Ministry, NZEI Tereuroa and NZSTA, then signed a Terms of Reference, which set out how we will work together to investigate the claims, for each of these three claims in late 2021. And this marked the end of the raising phase of the claims process. These claims are now progressing alongside each other into the assessment phase. The first part of the assessment phase involves us collaborating with NZEI Tereuroa to conduct interviews with therapists, science technicians and librarians to understand more about the skills, responsibilities, demands and conditions of their roles. The people we asked to interview were randomly generated from a broad sample list. Over the course of six weeks in November and December 2021, our pay equity analysts and NZEI Tereuroa members hit the road, travelling to conduct in-person interviews in schools around the country. We also held online interviews where appropriate due to COVID restrictions, and this is what we've been hard at work on lately. It was fascinating to learn about the important roles of the claimants, both the everyday tasks and the less obvious skills and knowledge that many people use to contribute to the learning opportunities for students. I feel like I've learned a whole new vocabulary during this process, including titrations, van de Graaff generators, the Dewey Decimal System and online cataloguing. The assessment can't take place without the participation of these interviewees, so we're grateful to everyone who accepted our invitation. Thank you. The next step is for these interviews to be turned into a General Areas of Responsibility or GAR document for each claim and this aims to capture all the work these claimants do. We'll then consult on these to make sure they cover the full range of the work. So if you are a therapist, science technician, librarian or library assistant, please have a look at the document that relates to your work when they're released and let us know if there are aspects of these roles that we're still to find out about. It's a privilege to be involved in this work and I'm looking forward to working with NZEI to the Uroa to progress these claims. If you want to learn more about the process and our other pay equity claims, please visit www.education.govt.nz slash pay equity.